Hey everybody, Neil Malik with Knack Training here, bringing another Everyday Office video. And in today's video, I want to demonstrate how I created this effect. So let's say you're in the middle of showing a group of people a table's worth of information, and then uh, somebody brings up the idea of region two. And so you decide that you want to really bring the focus to region two very clearly and very quickly. Notice here that I'm able to click on to region two. It's able to fade in a, um, a blue background, the bolding, and it's able to highlight the high point in there. Now, if I go back and I click on region one, you can see here that I'm back to highlighting that region with the background, with the bolding, but also with the red color, I'm able to demonstrate that from Q1 to Q2, the values went down, and then from Q3 to Q4, the values went down. And then if I click on region three, you get the point from there. For those of you who haven't seen yesterday's video, this is an effect very, very similar to yesterday's video that I did with a chart. Here we're doing it with a table. So let's begin with just the starter of the table and the information inside of that table. I'll go ahead and I'll highlight all of these um, slides that I've got. And over here, I will put them into a new section by themselves called um, demo. Okay, so there's my demo slides. And here is my default section. I'll just uh, click on this and right click and rename this as um, working. Okay. And on this slide, I'll go back to the slideshow tab and un unhide the slide. So the basic concept here is that we need multiple slides, each one of them to highlight a specific region we have in mind. And then we need to be able to click through from one to the next. In yesterday's video, for those of you guys who want to go back and watch that chart video, not only did we do, do we do that with a chart, but we also did that with hover. Here we're doing it with clicks. Um, so again, here we'll go to slide number one. One, and the first component of our exercise is to make each one of these regions clickable. Now I could highlight the text of region one and make this clickable, but then it would have an underline under it and it would be a different color. And I'm not a big fan of that basic concept. So instead I'll go to my insert tab, add a shape, and then I can simply draw this rectangle right on top of the cell that contains region one. Now with this, I'll need to use control K on my keyboard to insert a new hyperlink. And let's just go very simple with it and we'll make it the next slide hyperlink. Click OK. And I'll also go to this, um, this shape here, fill it with no fill and outline it with no outline. Now it is an invisible clickable area on top of the text region one instead of the text region one being clickable itself. Now a simple control D keyboard shortcut allows me to duplicate this box. I can hover it on top of the next cell down and then control D, D, D. And as it starts to slide down a little bit too far, you can scoot it back up a little bit. There you go. Control D for region number six. So I have those clickable areas and each one of them is a hyperlink that basically goes nowhere at this point. Next up, I go to the slide, use control D to duplicate it. And with this, I'm going to go with quarterly results by region and I'll go region one is the focus of this slide. To do this, I will highlight the entirety of region one's values here in the first row of the table. And uh, you know, you could do anything you want with this. I'm going to use control B to bold. I'm going to shade it, uh, maybe a nice bright color that really makes it pop off the screen. And you saw what I did in the example. I also went in here and let's highlight $363,000 as being the low point. And let's just make that like a deep red color. Okay, not bad. So I again can go to slide number one, duplicate slide number one, and make this quarterly results by region, region two. Again, highlight those cells. Let's do bold it, control B. Let's do the shading and let's do marking the high point with green. Great. 
and then I'll do one more just because, you know, there's no need to really flesh this whole thing out. We got region three. This is no longer what I want to have highlighted, so I will take the shading away, and I don't need it to be bolded. And actually, I want to border, there we go, with it white, and we'll take this formatting out. Okay, and now region three, highlight, shade it a different color, there we go, bold it, and I want to mark the high point in green. Lovely. All right, so I have region one, region two, and region three, and we'll just leave it at that. There's no need for us to uh, do four, five, and six at this point. Okay, if we're on slide number one. We click on the clickable area around region one, hit control K on the keyboard, and have that go to R1, and click OK. Click on the clickable region for region two, control K, have that go to region two. Click OK. Click on the clickable region, Control K, have that go to region three, and click OK. And the same thing for slide number two, slide number three, and slide number four. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and speed up the video a little bit. Awesome. So now regions one, two, and three, you can click back and forth between them and it should highlight the relevant information. To put a bow on this, I'm going to highlight cell, uh, the slides from four back to one, add the transition called morph and make this morph transition happen in, you know, maybe three quarters of a second. So now if I use the F5 keyboard shortcut to start the presentation, it starts on this blank slide, and if somebody's interested in region three, I can click on region three. It's the quarterly results by region, parentheses R3. Region three has a nice background color behind it. It has the high point highlighted. Click on region one, click on region two, and it very quickly and smoothly toggles around to those different elements.